Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk Bounty video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at three new vintage collection figures which were revealed at the weekend at WonderCon. Now I do apologise for the lateness of this video but I do like to get the high res images before I start talking about the figures. I didn't really want to make a video with all of the images that were coming out of people that attended the con and the PR team at Hasbro have only just sent the images so I thought I'd make this video quickly now for you guys. So I have all the high res images for us to take a look at, I have all of the pre-order information and I'll be giving you my thoughts so if you do happen to enjoy the video as always hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Now quickly before we take a look at the first figure all three of these are fan channel only figures. I believe the two carded figures can be also purchased at Amazon but the Zeb Aurelius figure that we're going to be taking a look at, the deluxe figure, apparently is fan channel only. So it will be Hasbro Pulse and Entertainment Earth. And if you're in the UK, all your usual places like Star Action figures. So first off, let's take a look at that deluxe figure. It is, of course, Gara Zeb or Zeb Aurelius. Now this looks to me like a repaint of the version that we are going to be getting with the Ghost. The one that comes with the Ghost is on a card. This one is in a deluxe box. Apart from the head sculpt on this fella, I can't really see any differences apart from the paint scheme. And of course, this time he does come with his bow rifle. Nice little accessory there. But of course, Zeb is a you know fairly large figure. It is pretty obvious that he was going to be a deluxe. And unfortunately, he's going to be in one of those deluxe boxes rather than on a card back. He does have the Rebels packaging. So it is based on his season one appearance in Rebels, I do believe. And I've got to say, like with all the other figures that we're going to be looking at today, these figures for me are next level figures. The detail on them looks fantastic. The paint applications look fantastic. I just hope when they get round to, you know, some big original trilogy figures that they really do give them the same attention to detail and just the sculpting and everything. They just look fantastic in my opinion. So that's Zeb, Deluxe Zeb. As I said, this one is fan channel only, so it will be available on the 3rd of April at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 6 p.m. GMT, because we have sprung forward over the Easter weekend. We are now an hour ahead as well. So check out my social medias for links for when these drop at those times. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at Kanan Jarrus. He is packed in on a card back with a bubble. And they have used a animated picture there because it is from Rebels. But of course, the figure is based on a realistic interpretation. And this figure is actually completely different to the one that you get with the Ghost. The one in the Ghost is based on his season three stroke four appearance. It has an alternate head. It has the mask, things like that. This one doesn't have any of that. It just comes with the blaster and a lightsaber and a lightsaber hilt. But the actual body of the figure is completely different. His boots are different. His arms different, his torso's different. So pretty much everything on this figure is different to that version. Maybe the upper thighs or something like that. But the rest of the figure to me looks all new, which is always awesome, of course. And as I said, I've got to say, these figures in general, just looking at these pictures here, they look phenomenal. You've got to remember, I've said this before, these are 3.75 inch figures. They're pretty small figures, but to get the level of detail that they're getting these days is just awesome. So there we go, we've got season one version of Kanan Jarrus on a Rebels card back. Now the third figure that we're going to be taking a look at in this video is Ezra Bridger. But unfortunately it's not based on his season one appearance from Rebels. Because that would have gone very, very nicely with this Kanan Jarrus. Of course his appearance in season one, he's a bit younger, he's a little bit shorter maybe, he's got longer hair. So that would probably involve an all new sculpt. This one looks to be the same figure that we're getting in the Ghost, except for his torso piece looks to be different. The rest of the figure looks to be the same. Of course, we're not getting all of the accessories that we're getting in the Ghost version with the Lothcats and things like that. You're getting a pretty basic figure here with a lightsaber and a blaster and a realistic head sculpt once again. But as I say, the card back for this one it's got an Ahsoka logo and therefore it's based on his appearance in the Ahsoka show. Which is a little bit strange to me because you only ever really see him in this outfit while he's in that hologram. Which is why they've used the hologram as the image for the card back. And of course you've got the Ahsoka logo there. So a little bit of a strange release for me and a little bit disappointing as well. Because of course if you're going to be releasing the other figures, Zeb and Kanan, in their season 1 outfits then really... 
you're going to want Ezra to go with that. But for some reason, we've got an Ahsoka version of Ezra. And yeah, it just doesn't really fit. But it is what it is. It's still a great looking figure. Still a little bit different to the one that we're getting with the Ghost. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are getting the Ghost. And they're not going to be wanting to open those figures on those glorious mural card backs. So these are the figures that you're going to want to be getting to open to go in your ghost that's what i'm probably going to be doing anyway i haven't fully decided i'll have to see what happens when they arrive with the ghost but it's more than likely that i will keep those carded so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about these three reveals that happened at wondercon over the weekend i believe they're going to be in a wave later on in the year they are released in the summer of 24 they're a fan channel wave so there'll be two other figures in this wave along with the ezra and the Kanan, and then of course Zeb is a deluxe out on his own. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you have. Thanks to my Patreon supporters and channel members. Your support means a great deal to me as always. Thanks for watching everybody, and we shall see you on the next one.